Another great play out of the single back wide trips coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Also, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you never miss an upload. So guys, we're going to be talking about a play uh, out of the single back Y trips. Uh, the play is called Salem. It's a really effective play. It has been in the past, but it's actually even better now. Uh, you can find this in the Titans playbook. Also the Ravens, the Bengals, Jaguars, Panthers, Bills, Jets, Raiders, uh, Cardinals, Rams, and Dolphins. So it's it's in a majority of the playbooks out there, and you want to throw it into your scheme as quickly as possible, especially if you use that single back Y trips. Now, what I love about this particular play, it is an excellent complement play with a play flanker under, which really attacks your opponent off the right-hand side. If you use the Salem and a flanker under uh, is a two of your main pass plays, you're going to drive your opponent nuts because he's going to have a hell of a time stopping your scheme. So that's what's great about this particular uh, play. It's a great complement to flanker under, which I use a lot uh, in third down situations when I need to get a first down. Now, uh, with man blitzes, uh, as far as a read, you're really going to be looking for that slant um, uh, right here. This actually can open up into a huge play for you, that backside slant um, against man blitzes. Also, the dig route by the wide receiver on the back end side will get pretty good separation too. Uh, so that's another play that you can go with it. Uh, the the route by Matthews on the back end side is something that's not going to get released uh, fairly well, but you can get that off. Uh, but I really would look to uh, if you got you, if your opponent's using a lot of heavy blitzes, it's going to be that slant route over the middle or that, uh, that route on the back end side, you'll be able to get some pretty good separation. And with the complement of those two, it's going to be very, very difficult uh, for your opponent to actually use your both sides uh, with that. So uh, that's what's cool about this particular play is that you've got two fast man reads if he's using a lot, a lot of man pressure. Now against cover two, you've got the high-low. Um, and a lot of times what's going to happen is this uh, route, the C route on the back end side, is going to get separation against cover two. So you're just going to basically read that um, and, and go ahead and take that outside route. So if you've got a opponent that runs cover two, you're going to basically eat him up with the high or low route off the left-hand side. So uh, that's what's cool about it. You've got the underneath route that you can pop him with the, with the running back underneath uh, and force him to go and defend those flats. And also you've got the seam route and you've got the slant route that you can drop it down to. So it's very effective against cover uh, cover two type shells uh, to go ahead and force your opponent to go and stop. So you've got the high-low on the back end side. You've got the Skrilla crossing route. Uh, and then you obviously have the seam route right up the middle if he uses over the middle. Now where I really fell into love with this play is cover three because this actually attacks cover three fairly effectively um, and actually will give you an opportunity to hit your opponent for some big yards right down the middle. So you've got the high low right here that you can attack. Once again, just going with that running back route. But one of the things I noticed is that if the low is open, so will the middle of the field. So I'm gonna show you something. As you can see right here, this route is actually covered up, but uh, if you got a defender that actually falls back on it, what's going to happen is you're going to get uh, an open seam. So uh, what's cool about this particular play is that I, it, it actually will force, if, if this route gets covered by a defender, this backside route right here is going to get wide open right in the middle seam against cover three. I don't know why this works like this, why the mechanics work like this, but it does. And I'm able to go ahead and complete a ball down the middle of, for uh, 23 yards. So I'll show you how this works and how this read works. So if you see the defender actually fall up, I've got this crossing route right over the middle that I can actually get a big play completion right down the middle. What's cool about that C route is that if actually if a defender actually covers that C route up, this tight end route will get separation. And why this happens is beyond me, but this is my read. So that's what I like about this particular play is that it does get this opportunity where you can hit them right in the middle of the seam because defenders just don't play that. So that's going to give me another opportunity for some big yards down in the middle of the field. And if he clicks on, a lot of times players will actually get themselves out of position and you actually can go ahead and get a nice big completion down the field. Now what about uh, cover four? Well, uh, cover four, you're going to have to go ahead and take that C route. A lot of times the defender will fall down to that C route. 
So once again, we're gonna take a look to the C route, defender that comes down, you get in to get that nice big uh, 15, 13 yard completion right there. So it really does have an answer to pretty much everything that you would need. Uh, if you get a good animation, you can rack it and actually take it up some, uh, some more yards. So any type of coverage, he's going to have a hard time uh, stopping all this stuff. And also you get that one-on-one -on -one opportunity uh, to be able to go and make a big play down the field too against uh, cover four palms type situation. So it's a really, really good play to go ahead and jump into. Um, it, you throw it in with a, uh, with a, with a, with a running scheme, you can definitely be, eat your opponent up. Once again, to, to, to my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. Uh, if you do like these tips, make sure you smash that like button. And once again, to my patrons, thank you for your help. Until next time.